The sexual dysfunction in male, we call this erectile dysfunction, is primarily a vascular disorder, meaning a problem with the blood supply um, caused by arteries or veins or whatever dysfunctions, often something which we call endothelial dysfunction. 20 years ago we thought erectile dysfunction is mainly a process of aging or hormonal changes or uh, a result of injuries to the pelvis or the prostate, whatever. We know nowadays that after the development of the PD-5 inhibitors like sildenafil, which is known as Viagra, uh, which works of course for the treatment in many cases of erectile dysfunction, that it's a vascular problem in the majority of cases. So as a cardiologist, this is what we deal with in the heart. So we started getting interested in this vascular problem of erectile dysfunction many, many years ago, and we were part of the initial studies using different vasodilators treating erectile dysfunction in men and also in women. And then we started looking intensely into the correlation and association between vascular diseases, erectile dysfunction and heart diseases. And we found actually sexual dysfunction is a symptom, if you wish, and a sign of developing heart failure, among other signs, of course, and is a vascular disorder. So in this context, we started treating those patients with different options. We had a urologist on board, a sexual therapist, a psychologist, psychiatrist, vascular surgeons, myself, a whole team at the University of Texas, which was an enormous success. On the first day when we opened my secretariat, four to five hundred phone calls on one day just from, pa from patients who wanted to come to see us. So as part of this whole treatment of vascular dysfunction, or endothelial dysfunction, leading to rectal dysfunction, we did in fact use stem cells, which had been published years ago from Tulane University in New Orleans by a famous pharmacologist in rat experiments where stem cell injections improved the engorgement of the rat penis. So we started doing that using different sources of stem cells with enormous success. So we use that as a standard therapy for men with erectile dysfunction. So I had another patient who had a defibrillator implanted for heart failure and he had sex with his wife and his defibrillator shocked him because he had an arrest, a cardiac arrest caused by arrhythmias 17 times. And the patient told me his wife had 17 orgasms and was happier than ever, but he was dying, and she didn't know. So as a result of that, he was terrified. She felt great. He was terrified because he was shocked 17 times from his fibrillator. He survived at the end, but he couldn't have sex anymore. It was another example of a man who came to us, was treated with stem cell therapy at the end, and actually he divorced this one and remarried someone else. So he's a very happy man right now. This is not systematically reviewed and examined in, in the frame of large clinical trials, but there is trials showing improvement of, of erectile function more in men than in women, also with anecdotally good success rates.